chaos. It's corrupting, changing taint. Despoils all before it. Only the strongest will endure. Hello and welcome to another Total War Warhammer Guide. Today we are looking at the monstrous Hell Cannon. It's the only artillery piece of the Chaos Army. And when I was playing the tabletop game, like the Games Workshop variety, a long time ago, there wasn't this didn't even exist. They had no artillery. So this is a relatively new. I, I'm old school, so I'm old. So it's been out a good number of years, but when I was playing, thankfully I didn't have to face this uh, very often until the later years. It's a massive piece of artillery. It's the strongest piece of artillery in the game. It's um, We'll go through its um, attributes and stats, and then we'll talk about how you'd use it in the game. So first off, it has armor-piercing missiles. As you'd expect, it's flaming bolts. Now, it's called, got something called Doomfire, which is just brilliant. I'll read this to you. The Hell Cannon transforms the souls of former victims into crackling bolts of energy. Mmm, tasty. Targets hit by this projectile receive a leadership penalty. The demonic bond between the Hell Cannon and its shot also allows minor corrections of the latter's flight path. When fired in first-person mode, you can control the projectile yourself. Just great fun. Um, it's much like the Doom Diver that the Orcs and Goblins have, apart from like a hell of a lot more dangerous. So we'll go through the other stats and then we'll also go and kill some um, poor little uh, Bretonians. So it's got 30 armour, leadership 70. Um, it's also unbreakable, so it's never going to root, which, which, is, which is amazing. Route, root, who, who knows, who knows. Um, melee attack of 18 and 14 it is manned by um, the... Chaos Dwarfs, you don't, this was a minor sort of faction on the tabletop version, there was a Chaos Dwarf army with Hobgoblins and stuff like this, but you don't see them, this is the only time you see them in the Chaos Army, um, with their lovely hats, uh, very nice, so weapon strength 28, all the sort of things, charge bonus is 5, it's got 40 shots, a range of 420, 420 hype, and a missile damage of 493 armor piercing, it can't run away, you know, look at it, it's not going to run away, it's unbreakable, it also has augments, which is very unusual for artillery pieces to have augments um, that can be used in battle. The first is called Blood, and it casts on itself, lasts for 40 seconds, and it gives it plus to speed. So if you need to basically rearrange, maybe you're out of range, the battle's going on elsewhere, you need to get around the map a bit, charge around, and uh, it, it, that increase of speed is actually really helpful. Next up we have Boom. Great name. They really put a, thought, a lot of thought into that name. Boom and Blood, right? So the Blood, basically, if I can click on it, um, is an augment cost on yourself, and it gives it plus a bigger explosion, and it does more armor-piercing damage in the explosion. So it's really good if you're going... It's already got armor-piercing, but it does more if you're going up against, you know, heavily armored stuff. So as you can see, I'll zoom out to the tactical map. That is the range of the cannon. The minimum range is that little semicircle and the max range. It's ridiculously... There's the first shot. We won't go first person because I'll just show it on, on the map. There we go. First shot. Just a little bit short. We'll see how quickly it fires for you. So it's not the quickest firing thing. But it's you know, a decent pace. There's the trajectile. Trajectile? Tra projectile even? No, trajectory. That's what I meant. Okay, we missed the first unit. Um, but we absolutely, and you can see, half the morale gone instantly. Obviously it's recovering because they're surrounded by troops of their own guys and stuff like that. But, oh, here comes shot number three. Oh, and it's the poor rear unit again that's getting taking the hits. It's not the most accurate. Obviously you can go into first person mode and stuff like that. It's quite hard when you're in a massive battle. Let's look at it from oncoming. Imagine charging this. Still fucking miles away and you're like, yeah, let's go lads. Oh, that's a nice hit. As you can see, morale, bosh, down to half. If you can hit one of those just before you get into a charge, especially with something with fear, you're almost instantaneously going to break them. That's, that is a nice joke. They, oh, look at them, look, they're wavering. They are wavering, and they've this unit has only taken two hits. So as you can see, they're getting pretty close, but we should be able to get a couple more shots off, and they're going to get more accurate as they get closer. Is it going to break them? Is it going to break them? They're wavering. <laughs> and they've gone. They've gone. They're like, no, no, mo, I'm out. 
we'll go for this first unit so as you can see it's a super powerful piece of artillery it, it works much in the way that other artillery pieces does. You want to keep it in your back line, peppering the enemy as they come in. If you can get land a couple of hits on some big units before... <laughs> it's going to take a... Oh. Um, if you can land a couple of hits before the main enemy lines clash, then they are going to do some serious damage. Um, it's also valuable to note, most artillery pieces are relatively cheap. Um, especially like the Orc and Goblins one and stuff like that, that you'd have them in the middle of nowhere, popping a few shots, and eventually if they, if and when they do get charged, you kind of go, uh, okay. But the Hell Cannon is a little bit difficult. It's so powerful and expensive that you actually want to make sure that it's got, you know, a bodyguard, basically. Um, you want to make sure it's not too far away from your enemy lines, that if, if it does get bum-rushed, that it can still, um, you know, do its thing. We'll go with our little cheeky buff. He's gone for a shot on the right hand side, and that's a lovely hit. They're not coming back anytime soon. I'm gonna land. So, as you can see, it, it, it's just done a massive amount of damage. Um, just, just, just ridiculous amounts of damage. It's one of the best artillery pieces in the game. Obviously, it's not 100% accurate. Um, even with the counter, you know, correct, it helps, but it's still not always a guaranteed hit. Plus, obviously, when you're in the middle of a battle, that can be quite hard to... It just looks so pretty as well, doesn't it? Look at that. Look at the sort of bits of bodies. Look. Oh, it's just... Yeah. It's a beautiful piece of machinery from the chaos here. And uh, we'll finish him off with the enemy. So there you go, guys. So pretty much to sum up, the too long didn't read bit is it's a massively powerful artillery piece. Works like most of other artillery, apart from you can go in first person mode. And also protect it because it's valuable. You don't get many. Use it. It's fun. Use it. It's it's just just carnage. Just carnage. There's only the the heroes left is the only person that's staying about. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this little guide for the Hell Cannon. Let me know how, how you find it in games and what um, fun uses you've used for it. Oh, oh, should we just see this charge? I think we'll have a look. It's going to get charged. Little Hobgoblin's like, what? What? What's going on here? Ah! As you can see, it's, it's, you know, it is vulnerable, as all artillery pieces are to those things. It's unbreakable, so it's got a little bit more fightiness in it. Um... But nothing compared to the... Where's my lord gone? Oh, he's run off. Brilliant. Cheers, lord. As you can see, it's holding its own a little bit. So you do get a little bit of time for other units to come back and protect it. But keep it, keep giving it a bodyguard. There you go, guys. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to watch more of my good stuff and uh, carnage and death and destruction and all that good stuff. Um, we're doing every army in the game and lots of advanced tactics and stuff like that. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.